Generation after generation has taught us not to air our dirty laundry. And of course, our ego tells us to expose our pain makes us appear weak. However, now that we're in the air of the Me Too movement, women are breaking their chains of silence to empower each other. Today on 5 Minutes of Faith, actress Mara Gale not only shares the gripping story of her life's journey, she also shares the actions that she took through her faith in order to get whole again. God says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I'm Claudia Parker, and 5 Minutes of Faith starts now. Hey, I'm Mara Gale, and I'm here on 5 Minutes of Faith with Claudia Parker. You know, my life uh, has been full of a lot of ups and downs. I was brought up in Algo Gardens, a project on the south side of Chicago. We didn't have a whole lot. There were six kids, and I was being raised by a single mom. Drug-infested neighborhoods, prostitutes, drive-bys. Um, I decided I wanted to escape. Well, one of the times that I was hanging with my cousin, smoking weed and drinking, we went over to her boyfriend's house. So I was sitting on a couch and I was high and groggy and I uh, remember some guys were grabbing my hands and my legs and they were pulling me into this room. Five grown men proceeded to have their way with me and I'm screaming, stop, stop, don't make them stop. I'm 15 years old, please just make them stop. I never told anybody. Not then, anyway. Shortly after that, I continued down a destructive path. But I learned some things along the way. Even if somebody takes something from you, it doesn't mean it's your fault. What I was doing has nothing to do with somebody violently abusing my body. So I go to college, and I'm no longer smoking weed, and I'm no longer drinking, and I graduate and life is good. My gift was my voice. I could I could sing and I could talk and I could I could interact with people and I eventually did a stage play called For Color Girls. I used the momentum of that to usher me into LA. Relationships was always my my Achilles heel. But I meet a man who who was widowed with two little kids. And I didn't have any children, and I didn't even have a desire to have any children, but these two little kids were precious. And I fell in love with them and him and got married. And we moved to Atlanta, and I thought things were great. Until one day I found out that my husband was having multiple affairs. We went to counseling but he didn't want to be there, and he didn't stop. And I remember saying, Lord, if I have pleased you with my life, if you see fit for me to just not wake up, I'd be okay with that. God was like, not only am I pleased, daughter, but you will do greater things. This is a rebirth. There is more in store for you. And so I believed again, and I continued to do my voiceover work, and I continued to act, and then the booking started happening, and then my life's purpose was revealed in an even bigger way because the stories that we had done from the stage play in L.A. called Stem the Movement, we had decided to turn it into a film. God showed me that my rainbow was full of colors. I got booked as a uh, co-star of a film that I star opposite Lawrence Fishburne. Now that's only God. God called me to more time with him. And the more time with him I had, the more I realized who I was. And as if that wasn't enough, as I'm rebuilding my life, a friend who I only knew really in passing, his life was being shattered. A pastor friend of mine, uh, his wife, had passed away suddenly. He loved her to the point of no return. It was clear. It, you could see it. And she loved him. We re-met each other and um, we had a conversation on the phone. 
And he said for the first time, he laughed. And it turned into another conversation. And then we began to court. He courted me. <laughs> my husband, he is my husband now. Out of this relationship with my now husband, I have rekindled an amazing relationship with my mom and my dad. And now I'm doing a radio show where I get to arrest the airwaves and it is OMG good. But you ain't seen nothing yet. A rock bottom can definitely have a rainbow. A giant size rainbow. God bless you.